When children sit, uh, look at look at the sea that goes with the story. They capture all this message. It is not by accident. When when we teach our children about the land, about the sea about the dance so that is that is the education for young people we are carrying that forever We live in two worlds, Yirija and Doa, and everything in our world are either Yirija or Doa. Trees, birds, plants, flower, fish, cloud, rock, and anything that's in our environment are either Yirija or Doa. We want to see our kids growing up, learning those things, which they already learn from the community. And with that experience, they go take that to the classroom. When it rained, they go there. Yeah. Madugumura again. Taking the kids out, we can show them how to cook a malu in the ground, go in the ground, and kids, they learn from what we do. It's an education as well, but we still get it done out in the bush, plus reading and writing in school. That's all. It's all important. We're now living in a modern world. Uh, we want to see our children grow up in two worlds, Yongo and Balanda. And you, we want them to, uh, to be literate. We want them to be numerate, just like any other kids have the rights to, to education. We lost our language and our and our culture and our learning, and yeah, like I don't even know how to speak that, you know. Because I can't speak it, you know. Because I never got, um, grew, um, grew up that way, you know. The youth in our community have got huge identity issues um, due to this lack of knowledge, family history, because our, our mothers and fathers didn't actually talk about their experiences very much and so there's this big hole in that regard to what our youth actually know about our own history and then we've got the non-indigenous groups that have been starved of any information as well due to it's not not being taught about in schools and, and they really genu genuinely want to hear the stories because yeah. they haven't actually had access to that information or know nothing about that history it's about understanding and it's about bettering our understanding of each other. But also giving out our culture and letting people know that this is how we are. You may see things on the news and then learn that this is not how all Aboriginal people are. So it starts with our culture first. And so when the children actually speak their language, you know, 
they speak their language, they are able to go into school, you know, and learn the other language as well. Bilingual education is important. It is uh, keeping our language strong, it's keeping our um, culture strong, uh, keeping our identity strong. I think education is a key to learn in both ways. Both ways to understand and to keep that balance. So wherever you go, you got the true knowledge. In Arnhem Land or other side of the world, you got the knowledge, you know? And that's how you feel proud of being a young one. This is what we're born with and we carry it with us. You know, it, it lives in us. Yeah. We are passing on the message, teaching them about the land, about the song lines that they need to carry on and to be able to be a leadership in their own tribal group. <laughs>